If you're a Dan type of character and you're afraid of X, Y, and Z, I would advise you to not be condescending or antagonistic, right? Because, you know, I, I'm a, I don't know you like that, little bro. Good. I don't know um, you like that too, big bro. So Well, I think you thing. do, because you, first off, you need to slow down, because there's a lot of difference here. You, me saying that you're, like, annoying, divert to Mr. Girl's opinion and let him kind of handle that. If Mr. Girl gives the green light, I think, you know, good to go. So It just seems like a convenient excuse to fucking, you know, rid yourself of the Nicholas Fuentes problem. The whole, you know, what? this guy's you... deep, but you platforming. That's what it's. Why? Seems. I don't need a convenient excuse to get rid of every anybody. Why do you say that? What makes you think that? It, I said that's how it comes across. How does it come across that way? Unless you have two IQ. No, 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 what a platform I'm on right now? Can I call you? I want to call you really bad yes, names right now. Also, uh, wait. I like. I have a general question. It's like. <sighs> I don't know much about Dan, right? Is he like super, super mad or is he like a little bit mad? Is he like a sensitive type of guy, right? I don't know, like, you know, how bad, because he said, oh, wait, how long have you, he, he said something about me getting banned and, you know, it's kind of ominous as fuck. He might send the drones on me, so, like, you know, is he really as pissed off as he comes across? Without getting too uh, deep or personal, I think the issue is that I've gone through like a lot of really extreme stuff on my stream and for the most part it's kind of like all fun and games but over the past like year and a half stuff has like gotten ratcheted up to a new level of like mainstreamish attention and I think he's just a little uncomfortable sometimes about associating with some of the more unsavory aspects of that so like three years ago fighting with like Nazis or whatever was like kind of funny or fun but now it's like Nick Fuentes who has a relationship with Donald Trump who is like giving speeches about Jews dying at, C at AFPAC or whatever right or it used to be that like fighting you know with uh, communists and socialists like Vosh and Hassan were fun but now you've got people like trans people that are going to the mainstream media and having articles written about me right so that the stakes on everything got upped significantly and then I don't know if he, he doesn't feel like it's not as much fun to be in his position where you don't know if people are going to be making like huge threads on you or like new articles or whatever. Like this, it's a more nervous position to be in. So when you come in and you start making like anti-Semitic jokes, whereas like a few years ago, he might not have cared. Now he's worried, you know, that like it's going to get like, there's just more shit involved now, basically. That makes it less fun to participate in, I think. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. It's it's no longer memes. It actually has real life consequences attached. Yeah, to it, basically, yeah, is the feeling. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but so is he like your manager, PR dude? No, he's a friend. So he's a friend that's worried about you because he's afraid that people are going to go write articles about how you're platforming anti-Semitism and encouraging it on your stream. No, he's not worried about me. I'm all in on this. I'm ready. This is my life. But like to rope a normal person into it and then have them get into it like this isn't his life, right? I don't pay. So him I uh, so I roped him into it is uh, OK. That's okay. what that, that's that's a feeling. I'm not saying I know you're not trying or I don't think you're trying. Maybe actually I don't know you because you might be an evil piece of shit backstabber because that's possible right but right now yeah. from my opinion is i don't think you're legitimately trying to be anti-semitic or evil towards them it's all just like memes and shit especially if you've seen the types of jokes that i say on this stream and the whole fucking shitting on muhammad and shit you probably think it's like cool and fine and for me it is i don't give a f but for some of the other people that come around like it's a little bit more scary right especially when you've got people spreading my docs on Twitter to 50 million people, you know, over the past like month, it's probably not as much fun to be in a room with a guy calling you a Nazi after or, or making like anti Semitic remarks. Does that make sense? You understand, right? He doesn't want to get caught in the crossfire. Yeah, of like, I, yeah, crazy shit blowing up, basically. Yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, I, I mean, I could I, I could just say, listen, it was all memes and shit, but you know, you're not going to take me at face value. You're just going gonna to have to keep vetting me, blah, blah, blah. So I, I get it. I get it. Listen, at the end of the day, guys, guys. This includes Dan when I say guys. I am always willing to play nice. I'm always willing to be all cute and shit. But when you guys come for my head, I genuinely enjoy coming for yours as well and us having a back and forth because at the end of the day, maybe this is where we disagree. And actually, I think we agree because I always see it as fun. Always. Regardless of even, I mean, it's very easy to say this in my position and you may not take me seriously but even if i was the dude that was getting 10k i would still fucking say outlandish dj and shit Just sure. gives i understand fuck. what you're saying right obviously i am i did the whole muslim thing on twitter for two weeks but like for other people around me that's a really scary thing for a normal person to deal with right 
No, I get that. I get that much. But all I'm going to say is this. All I'm going to say is this, right? With you, with guys like Dan, he, he's, uh, he hasn't stated it, but he's shown enough to for me to f be able to deduce that, you know, no more Jew jokes with him because, you know, he's going to be afraid of the, f you know, shit that's going to come out of it, blah, blah, blah. But for the most part, guys, guys, and this goes to all Destiny f universe characters, okay? If you come for me, you're greenlit. You're greenlit for me to just clown on you mercilessly. I am not gonna be kind because I don't expect kindness, nor do I get much of it, or no do I need it. So I view you guys as my equals, and I enjoy having our back and forth. I enjoy talking to people like Katie, who's incredibly like I don't know, I I can't be there. She's like Zerka, but with Zerka, it's like the trolling. With her, I don't know if she's like on the spectrum. But I enjoy how like she's antagonistic as fuck, and I'm able to just play off of that. I enjoy talking to people like Darius, who are genuinely like that fucking character from that you show. Like they're that level of creepy, and I like those type of people. Okay, you know what I mean? They're, they're like it's funny. I enjoy it. But you know, if you're a Dan type of character, and you're afraid of X, Y, and Z, I would advise you to not be condescending or antagonistic. Right, because you know I, I'm a dipshit. Okay, these things get saved in the memory bank. I don't hold grudges, but I remember when somebody tries to dunk on me for the validation of fucking neck beards. That, that being you guys, and that's what I'm saying. That Dan did the first conversation or the first time that he spoke with me when he said I'm Zerka Junior, and that I should learn when to shut the fuck up. I'm just trying to little bro me basically. So I just thought I would have a little bit of fun, but you know, my fun was, I guess, a little too based. You know what I mean? I like, my fun was a little bit too based, but do not throw fucking stones from a glass house, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It's a rule to live by. And to all those that believe that I'm being extra, think about it this way. Think about it this way. If somebody approaches you trying to like do something to you and they do not know that you have the upper hand May that be because you're carrying brass knuckles or you're f***ing a Taekwondo black belt. Bro, you're not gonna f go easy on the person. That's cut retard brain shit. And I, I know most of you f are big fans of that cuckoldry and weird shit. But you're not gonna f just be nice to somebody that's trying to be weird to you. You get where I'm coming from. So at the end of the day, just remember. If any of you have a problem with me, I am always open to conversation. Um, my VC is always open to any and every single one of you. I, in fact, I tried inviting some of you guys a couple of days ago. Uh, not a couple of days ago, a few hours ago. And none of you guys accepted because you were pussies. How are you, by the way? You know, I don't know you, right? It's a very weird relationship that you have <laughs> with on, people. <laughs> very weird. And, and I thought about it. I didn't want you to think that I was being sensitive or anything. It's just I don't, I don't know you, right? So I don't want you to... You know, if Destiny comes and starts making crystal knock jokes to me or something like that, I know that Steve doesn't really hate Jewish people, right? But for you, I have no idea. There's really only two options with you, I, I think, right? Either you are a devout Muslim who actually hates Jews, and at that point, I don't want to hear anti-Semitism from you, and you could f off. Or the second option is that you don't, and you're faking it to get clout. Because I don't think there's any in-between thing. Unless I'm wrong, you can correct me on that. Or you can't just possibly take it at face value for what it was, a joke. There's well, no, because you, it. it's not a joke if you believe it, right? That's why I was, that, I was just explained that to you. But I don't believe it. That's that's well, that's joke. why I'm saying there's two options. So I, when I, say, when I say I'm gay, like, you know, I'm not really gay, right? It's a joke as well. So also, are you a devout not, Muslim wouldn't hate Jews. Yeah, of course not. I mean, I agree. No, some do, and but mm -hmm. that's based off of the way that they feel. Because at the end of the day, people add what they feel onto their lives. It's not like every Muslim is 100% adherent to the teachings of the Quran. So you can't just yeah. automatically assume, you know, all Muslims hate Jews because we don't. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I don't have a problem with Jews. Also, when you speak of, you know, I don't know you like that. Listen, I don't. My first interaction with you was you being overly condescending. And, you know, usually I take that from people that I know. But when it's from people that I don't know, I, you know, I keep that in the back of my head. And I'm like, you know what? Next time I meet, meet this person, I'll have a little bit of fun with them. You know, since, uh, you know, you spoke to me like you knew me. So I was like, you know what? Let me reciprocate this energy. But, you know, since, you know, you want to clear the record and say, I don't know you like that, little bro. Good.
I don't know um, like that too, big bro. So well, I think you thing. do because you, first off, you need to slow down because there's a lot of difference here. You, me saying that you're like annoying or something like that, I think that's fine because that's just on your personality. If you want to say I'm annoying or it fucking sucks or anything, that's fine. You can do it. I know you've been watching DGG for a long time. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you. <laughs> okay. You, you know why a lot about me to act because, like. Yeah, just listen. I know a couple of things. Come on. I think you know a little bit more than a couple. I mean, I'll let Steven here can be the arbiter of that. Of how long you think he's been watching? I think it's been a. I think it's been a minute as well. I'll say so. I think you know me pretty well. I think you know a lot about me. I think you've been listening, and watching, and observing, and you came in here like we were homies, but we ain't homies. Okay, okay so you just gotta you just gotta sit and chill a little bit. Okay, you're if too. If this was coming, if this was coming from Destiny, I would totally understand like the ego involved with it, since he's the streamer, and usually uh -huh. these streamers have an incredibly overly inflated sense of ego. But yeah. listen, you're also an entrepreneur, the creator and founder of Tiny Chat, so maybe here you're we go. This one too. No, no, no. I'm just saying maybe you're coming with the entrepreneur ego. No, I'm not. I swear I'm just. To God, I, no, on my life, I genuinely don't know you. But if you want me to know you and you want me to stroke the ego, I could feign that I have an idea or a clue. You don't have to do That's ego. Right. Just don't... Um, no, but I don't I, know you. I, 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 I assume that I know you and I came in like we're friends because I watch you and I formed this parasocial fucking relationship with fucking All right, just, just chill. Out chill it out a little right? bit, okay? Just chill. Just chill. Okay, no, listen, That's what I, I want. No, 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 no Dan, I, listen, listen. Here's what I said. When people came to me, I was like, Dan is genuinely hurt. You know, people, they love you here, right? They're like, who who came to you and said that? Oh my god, a whole bunch of DGG like apologized to Dan. He's so hurt about this. I swear to god I'm not even oh, no, that's not true. But um, I swear no, I swear no no I'm not no, no I'm not being like I'm not being a dick. Dude, can like, I, I can give you an hurtful. example hold on a second. I'm just gonna give you an example so you can get it. I think it's gonna click for you. Okay? Imagine if um, your favorite streamer, Steven, all of a sudden went on Twitter and started like shit posting um, about like your religion. That would shock you, would it not? Yep. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's similar to that. So you know, these are the types of things that you really don't want to have happen. So that's all. Just like you know, take a step back. You know, chill out. You know, because you don't know. The thing is, you really don't know. You know. Anyways, I just had a great Passover. Went out and I visited my parents. You know what Passover is? Uh, when you pass over a bridge or something, I don't know. No, I don't it's know not. It's a very important, very important holiday where you um, kind of celebrate the Jews' triumph over Egypt from a long time. One of the most holy holidays, if you will. So, yeah, it's, you know, yeah, that's that. Interesting. Well, then, let me just, you know, clear the air here, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. No more uh, Jew jokes coming from me. All right. I'm not in, well, at least not until in the business. Get to, uh, at least Listen. until I can uh, verify you don't actually believe it. Listen, okay, sure. But I'm not in the business of, you know, uh, overstepping boundaries, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I only really? Kind of seems like the, I only the... do that. No, no, listen. I only do it when they're intoxicated, not when people are sober and they're mad. So, listen, uh, I don't have a problem with you. And at the end of the day, I only responded to somebody that came at me with Lil Bro energy. And, you know, as a card carrying BBC club member, you know, when somebody just pulls out a 12 incher and they think they could, you know, win against my 8 incher, you know, like I have to go into primal mail. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But genuinely, like I said, if you to answer all of you guys' questions in fucking chat, I've never claimed that I had no clue who the fuck Destiny was. I've watched a couple of debates here and there. I absolutely did. Uh, mostly, I actually just enjoyed the Zerka sit downs, like when you speak to Zerka, because those are just like, it's fun. I don't really give a shit about any of the politics stuff. I could absolutely care less. And you know what? I'm pretty confident that you might have cameoed maybe like for a few minutes in a couple of videos that I watched, but I had no clue about who you actually were. Like, I don't know much about you or anything. So the only reason I spoke to you the way that I did was because you spoke to me like you knew me. So, you know, I thought I thought we operated in that level, but since we don't, right, you gotta check my history and see that I didn't make any anti-Semitic jokes. Okay. But you know I'll what, go, you know what I'd love that. to see? You know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see Nicholas Fuentes back on sometimes. Jesus today. Christ, dude. Why don't you have that guy back on? See, this is the type of thing when you say stuff and it's like, you know, I think wait, I was on the what? right path a little bit here. No! Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. The guy's an ultra fucking racist as well. 
Right? So it's not as like well, I fucking... implying like also just like me type of thing? No, as in he's on top of being anti Semitic, he's also a racist, so like I wouldn't support him more than you wouldn't support him. Right? Uh -huh. So like why would I fucking have him on like, in, like yo, W Nick or whatever? It's just that, you know, it makes for good conversation and Destiny said that, you know, he has no problem with anybody anymore. And also the reason that he said he fucking you know, cut him off was pretty pathetic because it was somebody on Cozy decided to get Mr. Gail banned or some shit, even though Nick denounced it multiple times and said, listen, I'm against this he whole He half-heartedly laughed it off, okay? The deplatforming thing is kind of a pretty big fucking deal. Like, I need people that I associate with him pretty strong feelings about that. Not like you know, I think the best way to solve this is to have, uh, you know, we'll just divert to Mr. Girl's opinion and let him kind of handle it out. If Mr. Girl gives the green light, I think, you know, good to go. So. It just seems like a convenient excuse to fucking, you know, rid yourself of the Nicholas Fuentes problem. The whole, you know, what? this guy's you... deep, but deep platforming. That's what it's Why? I don't need a convenient excuse to get rid of every anybody. Why do you say that? What makes you think that? It, I said that's how it comes across. How does it come across that way? Unless you have two IQ. The, no, 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 what a platform am I on right now? Can I call you I want to call you really bad yes, names right now. Listen, yes, go no, on. hold on. Oh, I, listen, I can talk to or get rid of or do whatever the f I want with anybody on my f platform. I don't give a f what my fans think. If I did, you wouldn't f be here right now. I would have banned you 72 <laughs> times over, right? Mr. Girl never would have been on my stream. Live would have never been on my stream. You wouldn't be on my stream. Zerk wouldn't be on my stream, my stream, okay? My fans don't dictate my behavior ever. I dictate my behavior. And if I want to talk to somebody or if I don't want to talk to somebody, then I will or I won't, period. I don't need a fucking excuse not to talk to somebody. So I don't know what in, I don't know what part of my streaming history you've ever seen where you're like, oh, wow, Destiny made up a reason to not talk to this guy. I don't need a reason to not talk to somebody. I would just not talk to them. And I would say, I don't want to talk to this person anymore. Okay. Mr. Bonnell, are, are, have you calmed down? Because I am about to fucking show you that you've taken it the wrong way. When I said that, you know, you're trying to fucking come up with a convenient excuse not to talk with him, I wasn't necessarily talking about you trying to appeal to your audience. I was talking about you fucking still keeping up this giga chat fucking persona without having to deal with somebody like Nick, right? Because at the end of the day, streamers are their egos. And when it comes to your ego, I would say that you have a pretty fucking massive one. So yeah, but Nick is... Guys, do you understand that Nick was the biggest ego boost ever? Do you know right. how big my ego was boosted when him and Sneeko talked all that shit on that 9-11 documentary and the second he stepped into my house, after two sentences, he shied away from that? Like, in, like, like the most little, like, shy little schoolboy in the world? Like, what, what do you mean? I stream with that guy, get 15,000 viewers, and he loses every conversation to me. Like, he says the dumbest fucking shit. Like, I, really what about the JFK thing next? I mean, like, what do you mean? Like, where's the ego? It's not like he's, like, crushing me in conversations or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty subjective. Pretty subjective? You think him running from that 9-11 debate was subjective? There's plenty of people that have assessed the conversations and the debates that you've had with Fuentes and have said that he has come out on top on numerous occasions and that keeping a guy around him that is occasionally shitting on you in fucking debates and also fucking holds the beliefs that he does is pretty fucking detrimental. And when it came to your fucking ego, you're not trying to appeal to anybody, but you don't want to keep fucking having a guy on that's a brand risk to say the least, but also a guy that's shitting on you, a double negative, right? Over the positive. I, yeah, I mean, if you think that, but I mean, like, you also think that that Daniel Hikikaki guy or whatever crushed me in that one debate about Tate where he didn't know any of the facts of the case whatsoever. So, uh, I mean, I don't No, I but, mean, no, but yeah, you know, know, you're trying to come at, no, you're trying to come at me. I've never said that I'm the one who believes this. I'm saying that there is plenty of people online that believe no, this. No, there right? aren't. No, there I don't believe so. Is. There, I, there, 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 there might is. be like um, AFers, like America First people might believe that, but I think most, like, I can tell when I do bad in a debate. And that community, the whole community was sort of fucking glaze over me, dude. Like, I'm reading their fucking forum where they're talking about how good it is to fucking talk to me and maybe they, Destiny can help us like reach out to the world and blah blah and Nick's like dude Nick's whole fucking form was roasting the fuck out of him over his deplatforming shit especially after what happened with Ralph after my conversations with him um, like yeah I mean like you can say what you want but I, I don't think that the general impression was he was crushing me in any of those conversations I absolutely don't think so that, that's fair and you are entitled to your own opinion but Tell me this one thing. When is the last time that you feel you've done genuinely terrible in a debate? And you could exclude every time you've spoken to me. Those don't count. Speak uh, speak on the other things. Name, because you said you're generally good at assessing, you know, when you've done bad. So when's the last time you've done bad? Um, when's the last time you got an L? Um, I mean, I wasn't ready for, yeah, for Sam Cedar to go through fucking Citizens United. I definitely wasn't ready for that. Um... 
past that, I'm not sure. Most of the shit I've been doing recently has been fucking red pill shit, which is like bottom of the barrel retards. No offense. Okay, so Sam C. <laughs> okay, why? Well, dickhead, I'm not a red pill, you bitch. Stop saying no offense. So Sam Cedar, Ryan Dawson. Ryan Dawson debate so was like seven years ago. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, but it's still an L, right? If you, sure, if but you asked me, me for a recent one, okay? Sure, Ryan Dawson was sure. literally, I think, seven years ago. Yeah. I mean, you could you could still react the Ryan Dawson thing and go do a round two, but you're ducking the smoke. But that's neither here or because there, he's right? he's like the master the fucking conspiracy theorist. Like he's like no. Oh my for god! You sound like a pussy. He's the master, so I don't want to come yeah, at him. Okay. Bro. Yeah. It has pretty pathetic. You got it, yeah. If I'm not going to debate no, no. every single irrelevant fucking rando conspiracy theorist online like I'm ducking, you got me, dude, 100%. No, 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 no. You li no, no, that's not your justification. I swear you don't want to debate him. Your justification is this guy literally knows every single fucking conspiracy theory, like, to its fucking smallest minutia. Like, he's the ultra fucking master grand mason of fucking conspiracies. And I have to try so fucking hard and put so much effort in. And the last time I spoke to this guy, I lost. So he's my boogeyman. I'm afraid of engaging him. Plus, it's not really that worth it for me. Why is it not worth it? Because he's irrelevant, according to No, me. because the topics are usually irrelevant. That's the issue. Okay. Like, if you wanted to do, so, like, vaccine shit or something, then sure, maybe. But if it's, like, esoteric, like, kind of weird, like, Middle East conspiracy theories, like, it's not worth it for me to dump that much time into, um, into, into those conversations. It's just not worth it. Okay. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Because at the end of the day, you have a lot of conversations that would be deemed absolutely fucking useless. You have a lot of those, even according to you, where you fucking say, dude, this was the most boring. Bro, you fucking litigated that whole, like, gym fitness, whatever that shit, for two hours. Two hours. Gym. Shit. Lifting. Yeah, because it was relevant conversations thing. about my community, and because those are easier conversations for me to have. I don't, I'm not, there's not, like, a risk of me losing some conversation to some weird Middle East schizo guy that believes in every single conspiracy theory that's ever been published online. Like, it's a, there's, a, there's a different type of conversation. Again, when you say things like, those are easy, there's no risk for me losing, why would you then say that it's a stretch for me to say that you're just a What do you want me, what do you want me to debate Ryan Dawson on? Debate him on the things that he fucking proposes okay, to yeah, debate I'm, him yeah, on. Okay, I'm good. Guys, no, wait, 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 is that a ridiculous answer? Did I give you something that was the, so fucking asinine? Yeah, what the fuck but you're not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not engaging in the question with good faith. Like, because, but you don't give a How fuck about any of this. In, because wait, in your mind, I... you're just thinking like, oh, here's the death of bread, everybody, 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 everybody. That's in your mind, because you're retard okay yeah. like but obviously i know you're retarded but that's your mind no yes. i have a limited yes. amount of time to engage with the types of debates i want to i'd rather debate in stuff that uh -huh. is currently politically relevant with ideally politically relevant people not necessarily but ideally politically relevant people but i don't want to okay. run down the craziest fucking conspiracy theory holes with a guy that's going to quote shit for me that nobody's even fucking heard of before that's not worth my fucking time he's irrelevant the topics are irrelevant and i've got better things to do both fi financially and for my political ideology like there's literally no incentive whatsoever there other than trying to bolster the relevancy of some crazy conspiracy theorist why the fuck would i do that i would give the exact same answer if somebody wanted if like the world's best flat earther wanted to debate me or if the world's best like ghost hunter wanted to debate me i would give the exact same fucking answer okay now that you're done molding let me tell you what your true fear is your true fear is that this guy just talked okay let's just go through this how long until his answer is done what do you think 